Hello everyone and welcome back to the third tutorial in building the React component for Power Apps series. In this tutorial, we are actually going to start with building our React app. In the previous two tutorials, we understand we understood the basics and now it's time to put the basics that we learned to test and actually start building components. So that being said, let me quickly show you the component that we are going to build. So this is Power Apps and this is the component that we are trying to build. If you look at the component out here, right, you can set an initial value to the counter, set it as 100. And then what we can do is, let me go ahead and put in a text label. Let me set the value of the text label to react sample dot counter value and let's start the app. So at this point I will put 101 if you see it had a nice animation. The value also updates out here. So this is an output value. We have an input value that is the initial value to the counter. Then we have the plus and the minus button. We have the flip animation going on and we also have the reset button which resets to zero and you see that it's a nice clockwise animation going on. So we are going to build all of this in React and we will pick up the same project that we have been using. So let me quickly go ahead and open the project. So this was the ongoing project that we were using. So first and foremost, let's build the UI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file and paste it in the same location, the hello world file. I will rename this file to counter.tsx. Okay. So this is going to be our counter and this is what we are going to go ahead and use for development. We'll re leave the hello world.tsx for now. Okay. So that being said, we first need to focus on the UI elements. Let's build a basic UI element in the return out here. So let me get rid of this, right? And what I want to do is I want to quickly go back to my power apps. So I want to build, I want to put a heading out here. I want to go ahead and add buttons out here and I also want to go ahead count value out here. Okay, so let me add some placeholder such that we create basic UI with this. So firstly, as I told you, I want to go ahead and put in heading. So I will copy in the heading. Next, what I want to do is I want to add a paragraph tag out here. And what I'll do is to this paragraph tag, I'll just put in what I'll just put in a number. I will then add a div element. I'll just add a div element real quick. So div open close. That's good. I'll say button increment, button decrement, and button. Let's say let's say the button is reset out here. Okay. So I will say the parent element is the div element. So now let me build the code, but it will not render. So we need to connect it to the index. So I go to the index and instead of hello world, I can just say counter is the name of it. It's hello world as well. So I just need to change all of this. I will comment this out. And I will call this counter. Don't want to pass any props. So as of now, this is called as hello world. I want to give it some meaningful name. So I'm going to just say counter. This is good. And I'll save this, right? Counter extends this. I go back. To my index.js and here it tells me hello world instead of hello world I can use the counter the props can be empty as of now we will use the props later and I'm going to build this project perfect so this is how our app looks right now but it has buttons 
it has the reset so we we are reaching there we are we'll go ahead and sp slowly reach there but this is how a component our react component the bare basics would look like so that being said now that we have the bare basics in place what i want to do is i want to go ahead and specify states right when it goes ahead and increments, that would be a state. When it goes ahead and decrements, it's going to be a state and so on. So firstly, what I want to do is I want to change this interface. Like instead of hello world, I'll say it's a counter state. I'll give it a count out here. So let's say it's a count and let's say it's of type number. Now, because this has changed, I need to pass in the counter state out here. So that is the first thing. If you see, this is giving me an error. Let's ignore it for now and let's go back and configure our counter, right? So for the counter, we also need to have the counter props. We need to go ahead and bind an on change event. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to have some code pasted and it's going to be an interface and it will take an account of the uh, number and it will be on counter change now this looks okay what i want to do is i want to go ahead and pass this as well to my component so we have this almost set up let's stop this i don't like to see a lot of red and let me actually clear it out hopefully at the end of this tutorial we'll not see a lot of red we will see what we need so this is the counter this is the state right <clears throat> so next what i want to do is i want to go ahead and define a constructor in fact intellisense is my friend it tells me define a constructor pass in the prop and set the state out here I want to define few methods such as increment and decrement. So again, I will have some code ready. So I will just, I can actually use GoPilot out here, which actually is prompting me to write code, but I'll just paste it like this. If you see, I'm going to define, I'm going to increment a counter and then i'll try to decrement it and then i'll try to also render it so let me add all three methods out here for increment decrement etc right as of now it's giving me an error it tells me uh, count can be possibly undefined so let me remove the question mark it's not optional anymore so this is good <coughs> so increment decrement and reset now these are the methods now we need to go ahead and bind these events to the actual buttons so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the buttons one by one so when the button is clicked right i want it to increment and i'm going to pass it this dot increment this method out here Similarly, I'm going to do that for both reset and decrement. Now that is all good. That is excellent. But here the value is zero and it's static. I want to, I want to manage this as well. So how do I manage this? To manage this, I will use states again. So this dot state and count, right? This will be the initial count and based on this let's go ahead and go back to the index and in the update view i have got this right create element so i want to return an element but this time i want to return a counter and what i want to do is i cannot just return the props i need to go ahead and return and on count change and I want to notify the output it's going to be of type number again IntelliSense is my friend and I want to also say this dot current count is equal to count so I need to define the current count and I need to define it outside out here so what I'll do is I'll define it here 
and now this should be all right we don't have any error so I say on change and define this dot count is equal to count and then notify that the output has changed we also need to initialize the component a bit so that with the initial value is actually zero so this is in it I get the context I notify that the output has changed I have the state and then I again notify that the output is changed but I need to initialize the counter such that the default value is zero so I'll say this dot I think we use the counter current counter current count is equals to zero right we are not passing it anything let's say this is zero and this is fine in fact we didn't even need to initialize it we just say this at this point let me actually run my project right so npm run build and npm start watch and let's see if we get some level of output that we need let's focus on the functionality as of now so this is how it looks so increment one increment two decrement one decrement two reset so if I do minus and then click on reset it goes back to zero so a counter functionality has been created right it doesn't look that good we want to set the initial values based on the value that we type in here we also want to define a return value that being said let's get back to the code and let's configure this so let me first do a control y so first let's focus on the input value if you see I have a single line of text out here but I want to use something else I want to use whole number right so I showed you last time if it's a whole number you need to use whole dot none and let me actually change the name as well and make it a bit meaningful right so this looks good do I have an error yes I have an error which I have sorted next what we need to do as I told you we need to also return a value so we need to define an output value to define an output value you need to say the usage as output instead of bound right that being said we need to go into our index file and we will need to make some changes to the index file first and foremost here it was going ahead and taking a type so this is wrong right this is not going to work out so I'll just I'll just go ahead and comment it for now and let's try to build it because there's no name property we changed it to input number I guess right input counter value so let's see so let me remove this line and let me define a new value variable so let me define a new value variable I'll say it's const say new value is equals to context dot parameter yeah the input value counter dot raw if you don't find anything just make sure that you set it to zero so this is good now I have set up that and I also want to define the output counter value so to define the output counter value I want to return an output counter so I'll go here and I'll say the counter value right the counter value which is my output set it to the current counter value so this should be good now or hopefully it should be good now let me see if I missed out something so when I initialize it I go ahead and get I need to set the current value to the context value that I just created right so that should be it input counter value raw this looks good 
and then I go ahead and check for the new value and then also return the value. So I will go ahead and try to run build it and see if I get an error. Perfect, so no errors as of now. And if I do a start watch, we should have an output value and we should be able to set the input value as well. So yes, we have an output value. So property counter, let, let me set this to 100. Yeah, the, the, I have an in output value. However, my input counter value is not getting set. So let me go ahead and look at that right now. So I go back into my code and I will have to go ahead and set a state for that. So let me do that. We go to counter.dsx and what I want to do is I want to set a props in my counter. So this is what I want to set. So I want to set an initial counter value and I need to define the initial counter value as well as a prop. So I will define it here. There's going to be a lot of compiling going on. So let me get, let me stop that. So I have initialized a number and then I go ahead and set a counter prop in here. So next what I want to do is go into the index file and define an initial count in my counter and set it to the new value that I have defined up here, right? So this is what it is, not an equal to but a colon. So now we don't have the error. Now let's try to again run build and start watch. So what we can do is we can set this to maybe 1000 and let's say that I go ahead and refresh. So if you see it goes ahead and sets to 1000 which is the default value. And if you see the output value is also 105. I think we'll stop out here. In the next tutorial we will see how you can actually add animations and CSS to our component. Thank you. Have a great day and bye-bye.